In the heart of East Africa, a seismic event is unfolding that could forever alter the continent's geographical landscape. The notion of Africa splitting had the attention of scientists and geologists worldwide as the Greece Rift Valley stretches in tears at the Earth crust. This dramatic phenomenon is not the plot of science fiction novel, but a real and ongoing process that may lead to the birth of the new ocean, reshaping Africa's boundaries over millions of years. The Great Rift Valley, which stretches from a far region down to Mozambique, offers breathtaking landscapes and is crucial for understanding the forces shaping our planet. At the heart of this vast depression lies the East African Rift Valley, a zone where the African continent is slowly being torn apart. This site has attracted attention because a large crack recently made a sudden appearance in southwestern Kenya. Before we know why this is happening, I have to take you to a little geography class and understand the thing called plate tectonics. Plate tectonics, this is a theory that explains the movement of Earth lithosphere, is central to understanding the division of African continent. The East African Rift System is a prime example of divergent tectonic plates pulling away from each other, with the African plate now appearing to be two separate entities, the Somalian tectonic plate and the larger Nubian tectonic plate moving in an opposite direction. This tectonic activity not only contributes to the possible formation of Earth's sixth ocean but also reshapes the geography of East Africa, echoing the process that once separated the vast protocontinent Pangaea to form the Atlantic Ocean. If the Nubian and Somali plates continue to drift, countries like Uganda and Zambia may have their own coastline in the future. Recent geological surveys and satellite imagery have provided compelling evidence of the African continent's slow but steady split. These observations confirm the active splitting of the continent as East African Rift gradually widens. It is important to note that while this discovery is exciting, the rifting process will take tens of millions of years to complete split. To put it into perspective, currently the plates are diverging at an average rate of 0.2 inches, 7 millimeters per year. While the rift is currently above sea level, over time it will widen and crust will thin and sink. Eventually a small seaway will begin to invade the rift zone, much like the Red Sea, transforming the geography of the region and creating its own separate small continent. The potential split of the African continent carries significant implications for its future. As the East African Rift Valley continues to expand, it could lead to the creation of an ocean basin, fundamentally altering the region's environment and climate. This transformation could affect biodiversity, water resources and agricultural practices, posing both challenges and opportunities for the inhabitants of East Africa. Moreover, the gradual separation might influence the continent's geopolitical landscape as new maritime routes emerge and nations reassess their territorial boundaries. It may even create new opportunities for trade and communication. So, if we look more closely to the splitting of Africa, and if Africa does rip apart, there are different ideas for how that might happen. One scenario has most of the Somalian plates separating from the rest of African continent, with a sea forming between them. This new landmass would include Somalia, Eritrea, Djibouti, and eastern part of Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Mozambique. Another scenario has only eastern Tanzania and Mozambique separating. 
if the African continent does rupture, the rift in Ethiopia and Kenya may split to create a Somali plate in the next 1 million to 5 million years. I'm sure you and I won't be there to witness it. However, Africa may not split into two after all. The geological forces driving the rifting might prove too slow to separate the Somalian plate and Nubian plate. One notable example of the failed rift elsewhere on the globe is the mid-continent rift which curves for about 1,900 miles across the upper midways of North America. However, the rift may stall. You can't rule out the possibility that this might happen. If you look at the world map, you will quickly see how Africa and South America appear to fit perfectly together. This is because they were once a landmass. Over time, the land was split by the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And for those of you who doesn't know about Mid-Atlantic Ridge, this is a mid-ocean ridge, a divergent or constructive plate boundary located along the flow of Atlantic Ocean and part of the longest mountain range in the world. In the North Atlantic, the ridge separates the North America from Eurasia Plate and African Plate. So, there you have it, the split of Africa. I'm sure even your grandkids won't be there to witness it, but who cares? If you're new to this channel, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Boss TV. Thank you for watching, and see you next time, my friend. Until then, as always, bye-bye.